This is Dr. Norbert calling you from his artist retreat in somewhat soggy Norfolk, England. And I am here to stream season 12, uh, week one of the elimination rounds from season 12. Uh, this is the point where all the qualified people from each bracket get to play. And after they, um, if they don't win, they don't proceed. Uh, it goes until there's just one undefeated winner who then wins the entire season 12. Uh, I'm super excited though tonight because, or today, I should say this morning, I'm hey. hoping <laughs> tonight in Australia, today in England uh, and Sweden is uh, my friend from a long time ago as and uh also the recently crowned mcp wtc champion team trollborn hansen hello trollborn hello 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 everyone welcome welcome to the stream <laughs> so and great to have someone of you here so great to have somebody of your caliber on the stream today. Uh, I'm wearing my jersey. I'm still in WTC mode. I've got my donated one from um, Piper's, Kim Piper's uh, in Belgium. What do you have on? Your, your winning one or is it traded one? Yes, it's my own. Yes, good for you. Okay, we're going to get All a lot right. more into our history together and what you've been doing and, and so forth as we go through the game. But let's go take yeah. a look at the uh, rosters. rosters. I'm very interested of rosters here. All right, let's start with the Australian. Yeah. Um, this I'll do it real quick, and then you can give us your thoughts. Um, Impulse is the Australian fellow. His name is uh, Jared. And what did he bring? Let's see. Beta Ray Bill. He's hidden one character under his hid hide roster. I know, I know. Let's see what that is. Uh, Black Cat... Black Widow 1, uh, Sam Wilson, that's oh, who it was. Um, yeah, okay. Crimson Dynamo, Spider-Woman, Luke Cage, Iron Man, The Hulk, and Dr. Voodoo. And crises are Infinity Formula, Riot Spark, Super Power Powered Scoundrels, Scrolls Infiltrate, Spider-Infected, and uh, Struggle for the Cube continues. I'll let you think about that for a moment, Trollborn, but uh, let's take a look at what Steve brought. Steve is my uh, teammate from uh, the WTC. We were the Reclaimed Colonials. Let's see, he brought Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh-oh, uh, Corvus Glaive, Colossus, Cable, <clears throat> Baron Zemo, Deadpool, Logan, Nebula, Proxima, and Thanos, who I believe, yeah, is Space Mind. Space Mind Thanos. He's bringing one Tessie formula. Oop, come on, computer. There we go. Uh, research Station, Deadly Virus, Major F Mayor Fisk, Intrusions, and Demons Downtown. Wow. I think these are like 100% opposite uh, roster builds, don't you think? Yeah, so, but not really, right? We have Sam, that is like the quintessential, you will not kill me character. And then you have, on the other side, Black Order that will try to kill Sam. And that's usually a tough deal for Black Order, because Sam is just so rough to get through. And a well-timed uh, laser can usually shut down Thanos, and then on the other side, he's not as dangerous. I agree. This uh, is, a, so... I think, a perfect. This is like the 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 classic, um, um, uh, you know, unstop unstoppable force and an immovable object kind of uh, <laughs> matchup. Yes, <laughs> like it definitely is how you describe this. Can and... you can you tell everybody why why that's the case? So Black Order, I think people understand, is a murder uh, roster. That is all they do, uh, and they do it very well. Uh, but why is Sam such a great counter to them? So every time you daze a character of Sam's, his leadership triggers, and then he gets to walk a small, which is usually enough, because there's usually only one or two characters that are in danger. So then they daze one of them, and then the other one walk a small to where they're safe, and then he gets to do it some kind of clap back of his way, because... Most of the Black Order things are pretty short range. Even if they can reach out across the table and touch you, it's by doing abilities to drag you in and then you can get pulled back. And then in Sam, you often have Heroes for Hire as well, which is very good to deal with. Is Cat and Mouse in the Black Order roster? Ooh. I don't think so. It didn't look like he was focused on oh, Cable. 
No. Yes, it is. It is. So, okay, so he does have the cable backup plan if Black Order isn't there. But I have a hard time. So Believe what is Cable better than Black Order against is the question then. Yeah. I feel like Cable is also a murder ball. But then it's if you want to bring in Colossus to not get pushed. Let me interrupt you, Torborn. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Mukau is Steve Cole uh, from uh, Scotland originally, now living in England. He won the priority role and I happen to see him pull the extracts. Uh, so he got struggle yep. for the cube. And so that meant Impulse, uh, which is Jared uh, from Australia, he got the Securus and picked Demons Downtown. Yikes, Demon Town sound not bad for a Black Order, isn't it? So we're looking at eight points on the table. And that's pretty decent. Like, that's middle of the road, right? That's not favoring either player. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm just thinking that, you know, these things set people on fire, and also they're down the middle, so you have to kind of stay clumped up together, which is something I think Black Order likes. Uh, I don't think Demons Downtown actually encourage you to clump as much as people think it does, because what? you get incinerated if you stand on the point. Mm-hmm. So usually Demons Downtown, you have two characters to stand on points and then everyone stands like a respectful distance away and then just pushes everyone else out of mm. the point so that you don't get your whole team incinerated. Okay, fair. I, I need to learn that lesson, Trollbjorn. <laughs> yes, yeah, like if you get everything incinerated, then you just die and then that's sad. Yeah. So, all right. This is one of those scenarios where Shuri is a key piece, right? But yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need to push people into those um, incinerates. Yeah. Iron Man is really good at that. <laughs> All right. While if they're we're thinking about some things. While they're working on the um which threat they're gonna take, uh let's take a look at the board today. Board today is ooh, a classic from Morgan Reed from Australia. How appropriate. Ride Tackle and Draz collaborated on this one. 38 points. Uh, and it is in upstate New York, Crossroad Encounters. The team, um, they've cho- decided to choose 19 threat. So it's going to be 19, 19 threat. threat. Yeah. And that was the... That was um, Jared's choice, the Australian impulse. Because he lost part so, of the team. Yeah. So Sam shows 19 points. Correct. Correct. Sweet. Hmm. What do you think? I would not choose 19 points here. At 19 points, you can get hit by Thanos uh, and then Cosmic Ghost Rider and uh, Corbus, which is one of those like three wide murder balls that are very dangerous. It's like that one, and then you have Thanos. Um, Magneto and uh, Juggernaut. That's like the other three ball, 19 murder ball. That is scary to deal with. Um, All right, let's take a look at what's on the table. We've got the three flaming portals here right down the middle. We have one cube fragment here. Remember the cube fragments, you can pick up multiple ones of them, which is quite unusual nowadays for extracts. Um, and then for each one you pick up, you score a point, but you're also going to take a point of damage. So sometimes people start to kill themselves uh, or daze themselves uh, when they have a lot of cubes. So one cube is here right in the middle underneath the or above the uh, secure. We have uh, two more fragments here on the bottom of the screen and two more at the top. Sizes. We have, let's start at the bottom. Uh, Punisher is here. He's, he's having a look to see what's ha- happening here before he gets involved. Smart move. He does he, he reconnaissance, you know. Size three. Uh, there's some cops who are... Very nervously watching what's happening. Size two. I don't think they want to be involved with their little pistols. Uh, size three store. Size two subway entrance. A nice size four building there. Size two bin. Size three dumpling restaurant. Size two car here. Size three. Size two. Size three. Size two. No size ones on the table and quite heavy on the threes. Uh, there's two light poles in the bottom that are size Oh, ones. I beg your pardon. Yeah, sure enough. There they are. One. There's one and, here. Um, and then one little advertisement. Sign. Is this a strike better advertisement? Oh, it sure is. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's Morgan Reed's old podcast. <laughs> uh, and a size one bench. Yeah, so a lot of size ones there, but nothing on the top. 
<laughs> so I think those size horns are safely going to be outside of the scope of the game since they're so far on the edge. Yeah, like most of this terrain won't matter, right? Yeah. So Cosmic Ghost Rider won't be able to go down the middle here because of the house in the way. This one. No, uh, this he's one. there. Yeah, that one. Uh huh. So that will force him to be slightly further to the left, and that will make it so that he needs to roll two power to be able to kill someone in the opponent's deployment area turn one. You know. Oh, happy I see thoughts. how you think about it. <laughs> happy thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it is Sunday morning. I mean, it should go a little easier. <laughs> Don't have to go full full CGR today. Um, so yeah, yeah. Shoreborn. Yeah. Let's talk about our past a little bit. How many? Uh, we know each other from War Machine, where you were a fantastic yeah. War Machine player. How many uh, WTCs for War Machine had have you been to? Three. Three. Okay. And. Uh, so. 2014, 2015, and 2016. Oh gosh, okay. So quite you gave it up quite earlier uh, than I I've yeah. remember. Oh, okay. And in that time, what was the best place uh, team that you had? Uh, so I feel like the best place team I had was when I carried the Swedish third team to a 10th spot. Nice. Because that was what I'm the most proud of. Because no one thought we would do well. And then just by understanding matchups and understanding the like pairing process. Yeah. Because I heard, I heard a lot of people talking about how you could just like randomize the pairing process at the V2C. Yeah. And I don't think that's correct. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're not understanding the pairing process then. <laughs> so that's great. Um, I, and I, I hear that. I think it's lovely that you, you're calling that one out. Um, of the other two then, what were your, what were your rankings? If you so can then I was in Sweden one and we got eighth, I think. And then so like a higher placement, definitely. But like. I wasn't as proud of it because it wasn't mm -hmm. like it's more about the players you're with and their they being able to transcend their limitations than how you perform, right? It is it is a, a, a absolute high when that happens uh, when the team gels yeah. together and outperforms what it thinks it can do. Yeah. So um, then, and then when you, you have a team where you think, oh, we might win it all, and then you go like. Oh, we lost a game. Well, now we uh -huh. can't win it all. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's rough. You have nothing left to play for in your head anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we will talk more about your shift into MCP when we have a moment, but let's take a look at yeah. the, the teams as they as they as they pop down. We'll start with our favorite Australian, Jared. He's taken Black Widow One. Iron Man. Woohoo. Sam Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Beta Ray Bill, classic. Luke Cage and Crimson Dynamo, which is great down the middle. Lovely, lovely choices, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit like thinking about Widow's One, if she has her card with her. Let's take a look. Heroes for Hire, Brace for Impact, Avengers Assemble, Sacrifice, and Helios. So no. Okay, so no. So no, none of that. But classic Just, six wide t roster, lots of uh, yeah. um, options uh, for triggering the leadership ability. Then on the other side, I see that we're four wide, so we're not the murder ball. We're something else. Let's take a look. Corvus with the reality gem. I missed saying that earlier. Sorry, he has a reality gem. Uh, yeah. Baron Zemo, Proxima, and Thanos space mind gem. Oof. So... Deciding on Proxima and Simo over CGR, and I think that's a good choice on this scenario point. Um, he brought Brace for Impact, Execute. Ooh, 
That is an ugly card. Ugh. <laughs> uh, eyes, on Ugh. The, eyes on the prize. Wow. Mothership, of course, and Sacrifice. So for people who don't know, they might not know Execute. It's coming more popular now, yes, but in yes. Black Order. No. No. <laughs> you don't want to talk no, about it? don't play Execute. <laughs> execute is a bad card. <laughs> this is just not... I think it's one of Steve's favorite cards. <laughs> okay. So, so Execute, so, Yeah. it costs two, right? Um. Uh, yes, two to, both characters have to play. So Corvus and both Proxima characters both have to pay two. So yeah. that's four power. Mm-hmm. Here, yes. Do you know another card you could play that costs half as much? I don't know which one. One two punch. Ah, one two punch. Ah, interesting. And in one Oops. two punch, you don't have to be within one of your target. You only have to be one of the characters have to be within two. So Proxima has to be within two. And since you're only using this on a Corvus attack, right? Like, let's be realistic. We love Proxima, but she ain't pulling the heavy hitting power here. <laughs> so then you're really just using two power more for, in reality, 0.7 less damage. And that's... And you have to be within one instead of having to be within two. Well, we have our captain from Reclaimed Colonials in the chat, Insidiously Mad, that's Connor. And we also have uh, Darren, the Wargaming Dad, who uh, is a Black Order player. So maybe in the chat they can kind of defend, if they wish, defend this execute card choice. I see Steve's already uh, struggling with Gronko's uh, grocery shop. He can't get his model quite yeah. all the way forward with that one. All right, well, I, go ahead. I think I have more Black Order experience than <laughs> most people. Well, is like, that Was that your faction, or was somebody playing it a lot? And... Yeah. I was I was our Black Order player before the change. I see. Okay, got it. Like, I, I made cut twice with Black Order, right? So. Yeah. Which seasons were you playing? Uh, last season and this one. Okay. So. And what did you, um, what was your roster at the WTC? Uh, Webs and uh, Immortal Hulk. <laughs> okay. He's his own faction. <laughs> yeah, like Midnight Suns technically, but like Blade is a four point sharing squad. Wong is a two point sharing squad. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> Here's Immortal Hulk. <laughs> That's who they're cheering. <laughs> they're the cheerleaders. Yeah, like <laughs> Yay. they are the cheerleaders, and they're very good at it. Like <laughs> it's almost like when you have a seven point model with six point of support, then they do a lot of work. <laughs> now I'm I'm a little disappointed. Sweden is known for its uh, delicious coffee, and I don't see any coffee in, in your hand. Sad. Yeah, no. Sad. I'm, I'm, you already finished it. I'm a water drinker. It's just on the water. Do you not drink coffee at all? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. No, no, I, no, I'm wondering if you just don't drink coffee at all. Yeah, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink alcohol. I don't no, try to avoid sugary drinks. Good for you. That's fantastic. That's why you do so well. You're, you're like a... You're like a um, uh, a role model for the kids out there. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Play MCP. <laughs> if you don't, if you do drugs, then you ain't winning. <laughs> That's it. And it's all about that win. <laughs> so can we talk about the deployment here? Yes, let's bit? talk about it. So on the Black Order side, we have uh, just left of the center... Uh, Corvus Glaive with Baron Zemo just left to him. Right down the center, but unfortunately uh, lit back is Proxima Midnight, and then Thanos is here to the right of the center, but close to a cube. Yeah. So what we have here is Corvus put up so that he can ice on the price, turn one, and grab the cube and retreat, mm -hmm. which I'm a bit weirded out about as an opening play. Like, it's fine, but is that really the best? Because then uh, the opponent Sam player here has um, a Black Widow put up so that she can run over to the other side and grab that cube. Mm -hmm. And then you only have Simo left as like a 
punishing piece mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you also have, like, she could grab her own cube and then Beta Ray Bill go over and pick up that cube. Yeah, let's talk about this real wow. quick. So Luke Cage is straight down the middle to his right. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Sam Wilson is right down the middle. Luke Cage is just to his right. Further right is Black Widow. And as you were mentioning, Beta Ray Bill is in the far right in a perfect position to double move and grab that uh, far uh, extract. On the left is Crimson Dynamo. So just left of center. And a little bit further left is Iron Man. So... I would have changed the position on Sam and Iron Man here, but I am looking forward to seeing the difference because I'm not as all as experienced of a Sam player, right? Okay. And Sam takes a lot of reps to get good at, I think. Yeah. Well, I would say right. the same for uh, anybody running Thanos, um, particularly in Black Order, though, because of the so um, f few uh, actions that you have with such a tall mm -hmm. team. Yeah. So you need to maximize yeah. every activation, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but I've put in my reps with Black Order, so I, so I feel more confident there. Sure. Yeah. Sam's got the other problem. He's got a wealth of actions and you know uh, leadership triggers, and so the question is, is how to best use those when it can be loads of choices to choose from. <laughs> I love this comment from Mad here. Yeah. Like... Go ahead, read it. Can the heroic Black Order save the world from yet another Sam list making the top 16? The hero we need. <laughs> so true. So true. And this is messing up the, uh, the, the, the CGR counts that uh, some of the finalists were, were uh, keeping track of. Because there's no CGR here on either side. And like, I don't think CGR would have been the right choice here, right? Mm, mm. People are as, like acting as if CGR is the game destroyer in all scenarios, always. And then they pick low scoring scenarios and they get screwed. And like, <laughs> yes, what did you expect? <laughs> all right, just as you predicted, Beta Ray Bill is going to do a double move and grab the home mm -hmm. extract off of um, Steve. And this is a good character to do it with because he is just so bloody tanky. Like, I'm not sure if he or Widow is the best here. Because, like, if the spike accidentally happens here now, then you're down a four-point model. Right. Because, like, whoever he sends up here is going to end up standing next to Corvus. Or can potentially end up standing next to Corvus. Mm -hmm. And that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. whoever goes in has to be someone that can be expended. And like, he has a higher chance of surviving, but it's a higher downside if the spike comes. Um, but yeah, so question is is steve gonna pass now or activate seems like the gentlemen are and like better a bill doesn't have access to um uh, avengers assemble which is a very key component of this like who grabs what all right looks like steve passes so black widow yeah. is going to grab the home extract and hide behind this dumpling shop she um maybe she's picking up a takeout for Sam. You know. She's not? gonna go stand on that back point. Yeah, and she's gonna do it very well. <laughs> she's got a cube and she's gonna be on fire and she's gonna love it. So why did Moscow move Corvus so early? I have no idea. I cannot for the life of me answer that question so would you, who would he you wanted a safe yeah. uh he wanted a safe middle extra extra grab but i don't think that matters like it's like he can't realize that the opponent will run over to his side and grab his side hammer so mm. if he could get three then of course that would be a really good thing but he's gonna have to kill whoever comes over anyway so 
Yeah. And Did now he's setting up a Heroes for Hire here. I don't... I'm not sure that this... What do you have to be within That's for Heroes for Hire? Scary. Is it two or three? Three. Three, okay. Three, three, three. Uh, but, yeah, he's just running up behind a house. Okay. Because, yeah, because Thanos will probably move characters around here, right? Yeah, that's what he does. He'll, he'll place himself up, pick up a cube, walk into the middle here, pull in better a bill too, and then he has to make sure he's outside of three of uh, big tanky hero dude. Luke Cage is the name, right? Yes, Luke Cage. <laughs> Uh, oh, he won't even pick up his cube. Yeah, okay. interesting. Maybe that's Proxima's job. Yeah, I'm not sure. Steve Steve plays quite differently. He's relatively new to the game. He did extremely well at WTC. I think he went 4-1. And, one. and um, yeah. he only started playing in the springtime when we formed the team. Yeah. But he's been focused on Blackwater. Um, oh, he I went 5-0. Like oh. Sorry, those, yeah, Sorry. Yeah. He, he was the one who went 5-0. Oh. Beg your pardon. Yeah, J, uh, JJ went for one. He went five. I and think oh. one of those things then is like the knowledge of bad matchups, right? Mm. It's very hard to know when you're in a good matchup with Black Order. It's very easy to know that and how to pilot it. But then, can Sam grab Steven's other cube here now? Uh, would you want Sam to stand there? I'd be terrified of having Sam standing there. All right. He's elected to move Thanos within four, a better rebuild. Um, probably to get that um, placement off. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and He's... Connor is mentioning that one of the reasons, uh, we think anyway, that Steve... Not only did he play well, but he went 5-0 and oh, probably because we were making sure in the team format you can kind of help force certain matchups. And uh, so he was given ones that were um, ideal. So like we probably would have avoided this particular matchup uh, for him as an example. Yeah. Because playing this is definitely possible. But it is very difficult. And he didn't even measure three there from... Uh... Luke, so I'm not sure if he's thinking about it. But okay, here comes the... Double move? Double walk. Yep. And yeah. And so that means that Thanos has one action left. He has one punch and one move with his stone. He is currently not within two of Zemo, I think. No, doesn't look like it. So he could have moved himself back off the point to get into Simo range. Hmm. Yep. But yeah. But he'll need that too because, as I said, Bill is tough. We'll see if he. Bill gets... is very, very tough. And now, if he hits him, then Bill can aggressive away from everyone, so that. Hmm. Exactly. Aggressive back to safety. But yeah. All right. We've got five hits, including two crits. Let's see what those well, are. Well, okay. Just roll dice and then yeah, there's nothing to be worried about. <laughs> yeah. All the strategy goes out the window. It's just like Mike Tyson. Everyone's got a plan until you get punched in the face. <laughs> and Thanos just punched Bill in the face. <laughs> yep. Yep. Got another yep. hit. So he's three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, with one save. So six go through. He's got no power to reduce right. it. So that is dazed. He should have one power to reduce it. Uh, why? Did he pick up the cube? Oh, he gets two. Beg your pardon. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, gets yeah. two from the yeah. beginning. So yeah. he, he's he's one of there. And oh, they forgot to put their timers on to... No, no, it's fine. It's, One hour. It's a, it's is this supposed to be an hour? I thought it was an hour and a half. Okay, probably an hour. I thought it was an hour. Yeah, each. I, I think we it... played with an hour each anyway. All right. But yeah, and now, so what would normally happen here was Thanos did his first spike, so now he had enough power to just move and move the whole world around. But oh. 
he's done his one move he's allowed to do this game or this turn so yeah thanks joe yeah it is an hour oh he's not allowed to measure this he's not allowed to measure this this is this is not how you get to do this oh right because uh you're technically using the tool the same tool twice yeah at so. the same time rather yeah you should eyeball the uh so you have to eyeball the measurement and then you have to move so you move a slight bit extra. Yeah. It's like yeah. half a centimeter extra here he should have moved, but it happens. So yeah, here we can see now since like Bill was spiked so heavily, Bill is gonna go down. And then Bill is probably gonna go down again. So now he can run up Steve. And pick this one. And when Bill gets down, he can back into safety again. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So now he has an option here to do this. Um, Looks like Sam. I would have changed the activation order on everything here, but yes. You know, but different players have this different is the approaches. problem with knowing... Yeah, and how, like, it's such a machine, this game, right? <laughs> you have to know so many things about so many different characters that can do so many things. And then you can look forward a couple of turns into knowing what <clears throat> will happen if you get, uh, like, now you're going to get a 3-1 extract lead here, probably, right? Trollborn, do you have a, a notepad handy or something you can open up on your computer? You should make some notes for post-game questions. And I think... post games questions. Yes. And I think the first one is um, about the opening moves, the particular pro, um, Corvus's uh, initial activation. Save. X. Drag. Grab. Question mark. Um, or gaming dad, maybe you can jump in there and tell them they only have an hour. I mean, I wouldn't mess with the timers, but the, the death clock will take into effect at the hour mark instead of the hour and a half mark. Yeah. So when it hits the, no, at the 30 minutes, yeah, mark, 30 right? minute mark, but yeah, yes. So uh, they know because they, they are spending a lot of time for a pretty scripted turn one. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing. That's why I'm, that's why I'm mentioning it. Thank you, uh, Darren. Okay, so he's deciding on not taking this lead because he doesn't want Sam to be in danger. I think um, Peter, uh, Mid-Table Obscurity, mentioned that uh, Thanos got the wild, so should have thrown Bill as well, right? Yeah, and Sam didn't... Uh, so I'm thinking he tossed him down, and then Bill was like, I'm just going to walk exactly mm -hmm. back, and that's why nothing oh, happened Oh, I see. There. But he didn't take the extra damage from getting hit uh, into the building. Yeah, I'm assuming like he didn't toss him into the building. He just tossed him straight down so that Bill couldn't oh, walk I see. back out of range of... Gotcha. Like, because I was just thinking if if, um, if he had dazed him now, then that would have triggered the leadership. And maybe that's what Steve uh, did. But BRB doesn't take damage from throws. He, he reduces damage. Oh, he would, have had, he would have power to do that? Um, but then he wouldn't have had power to reduce on his thing because the throw is before damage. Uh huh. So no, okay, yeah. So if you threw him into the building, he should have been dazed. That right. is correct. Right, but maybe Steve didn't want that to happen so to avoid the leadership trigger at this stage of the game. And uh, someone here is saying that Bill took six damage and is at five power, but that's he took five damage. Yeah, yeah, because he reduced it. He reduced the uh, yeah. damage down with the one power that he had. But the point ah, is... Now he's not inside here. What? Inside what? He's not inside three when he's picking up this cube. So he can't do his attack to bounce back towards. Oh, I see. So he has to double walk and he doesn't get the free chance to dace. Okay, apparently Darren said the clocks weren't working properly, so they can't actually okay. s switch them somehow. Well, yeah. 
So let's see how it goes. Hopefully they play a relatively fair game. So now Roxva walks back here to Gibby within three so that she can start next turn with yumping on him if she wants to. And she's scared of Iron Man. Okay. So... Next up, looks like Sam's taking a peek. So Iron Man just kind of moved into um, the middle. He he just that's all he did. Yeah, like you stand people that can push around the point, and then one poor sacrificial pawn has to go up to the middle and stand on it. Yeah. So he's got uh, Sam and Dynamo left. Dynamo is not a bad person to put into that awful position. Yeah, like it's. I would never put Sam in there, right? Like, hey, we've got Patbot in the chat checking out the Trollborn commentary. If Sam ever, if Sam ever goes anywhere close to anyone, he's the number one target always, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, he's like Ghost Spider. You always try to take them down first if you can. Because yeah. it just neuters the other person's game plan so much. Yeah. Yep, sure enough. He decides with Crimson Dynamo to go and take that sacrificial point in the middle. Yeah. But now he doesn't have three extracts, so... Yeah. Or, well, assuming that Better A Bill gets staced by Simo. Right. Well, we're about to find out. Now, remember, I think Trollborn with Black Order, you want to stay in the points game, but honestly, you don't care if they're going ahead in points because that's not your game plan. Well, that's like we have this saying in Sweden that's like truth with modification. <laughs> Sanning med modification. So, like. You have to score 16 points eventually. And you do get points for killing people. Mm -hmm. And when you've killed people, then there's no one left to score points left. But yeah, okay. So here's here's the reverse spike. Yep. Huge defensive spike by Bill. So Zima does nothing, but we're going to try it one more time. So like one of the most important oh. points to realize... <laughs> Four. Oh dear. Yep. Nope. Not nope. Gonna, not gonna work. <laughs> this is why we need Corvus to kill Bill. Yeah, if it wasn't for Bill's damage reduction, he would have been dazed, but he's fine. And no that's the Cree either. But uh, was that the Cree on the first attack when he spiked I, out totally? Yeah. I did not have it. I didn't I didn't see the number of dice. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Thanos has seven, uh, five power still, so he has all the power. So he has not done it. So now you get to decide with Bill if you want to daze to the cube damage or not. Mm. I probably would pay to get rid of it, but that's that's a hard choice. Yeah. Bill will automatically get, like... Destroyed next turn versus Bill has a chance to survive next turn. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know what she's the right choice here. It's just one power. I think he can afford it. So, if he pays a power, so it's technically two power, right? Uh, he pays one power and he doesn't get the power for the cube damage. But then he is not dazed. And then, yeah. So Sam decides to move behind the dumpling the building room. to hide him, basically. And be in position yeah. for next turn. And so that's the end of the round. We'll see. So that he can push people around the table next turn. Of course. Because he has two powers, so he can charge anywhere and then just toss all the shields in the world. But yeah, I think this is one of those decisions points that are very, very, very important here now. If 
bill pays to reduce this damage or not. We shall see. It still hasn't decided yet. No. And I, I I don't fault him for taking like five minutes to decide on this. Because he did this it. Is... He did it. He reduced the damage. He reduced the damage. Okay, yeah. So then Bill can't be more or less dazed this turn. Or he can't be KO'd in turn two, but he's definitely going to be dazed in turn two. And if we look at the other side, we have the two hammers softening up the pair. I think that's the correct call. I am not as sure. Because, like, Bill surviving, like, an attack from Corvus with three power, that's, yeah, maybe, probably not. But I'm thinking ahead. I mean, Bill's the obvious target, but who's next? Uh, so what would you do with Sam's leadership here is my question. Mm. So when Sam triggers this leadership, what do you do? I think you walk Iron Man backwards and heal his point. And, and what point? Do what to the point? Uh, he has a cube, so like then you're keeping his cube safe. Oh, I see. Got it. Uh, because where he's standing, he is probably my next victim here. <laughs> In my Black Order brain thinking. You want to get all the extracts down to your Corbus. That is the Black Order game plan. Mm-hmm. All right, these gentlemen are taking their time. I'm a little concerned yeah. about this clock situation now. Like, I played games at the V2C faster than yeah. they did turn one. But I also played webs, so... All right, looks like uh, Zemo is going to try it again. So Zemo is going to try it again. So here's a question. Does he pay for Master Swordsman? Does he do his normal attack? Or does he do the the movement one? The spender? Yeah. I, need, I think... He needs a power, though, to pick it up. I'm not as... You're not going to have someone run down there to pick it up next to Corvus. So, like... Yeah. It really doesn't matter if he picks hey. it up or not. Anyway, Zemo must have... Um gotten his stride yeah. he, he figured out how to wield the sword against beta ray bill and he he, he touche he does the final point of damage and does pick up the cube yeah like this is yes yeah steve's being he is one of the highest damage characters in the game which one five dice with a reroll. Oh, okay. Simo. yeah yeah like it, that he didn't get it done in two attacks is very different but that he won't get it done in three, four, like. Okay, now we're watching. But now the question is, leadership. where does Simo want to stand to get the best rerolls? Now it's the leadership trigger. He's trying yeah. to decide where to put him. Outside of three, but inside four. So, yeah, there. If you want to do it with Dynamo, it's right there, I think. Yeah. I think he can go slightly further back, but yeah. I'm like, there might be an argument here to place yourself outside of four of Thanos. And, like, not care about the shock on Thanos. But I... Like, a shock helps a lot, right? This is very bold. I think this is very good, right? He's going to have a lot of power. Because he's going to gain four power here now. He doesn't have his incinerate anymore. He is not the one that has, uh, like, an extract on him. So if he dies, no one cares. 
Is he now looking? Oh, so now he's looking at charging in to see Mo to see the thing. I mean Zemo charging into Dynamo. Yeah, Zemo can charge into Dynamo. But he decides on not doing it. Because then he's leaving his like reroll bubble. Mm -hmm. Good point. So yeah. Now we're going to roll the can you roll a wild game. Um, does he want to hurt Simo or does he want to... He, Of course he wants to do the shock on all of them. Ah, oh, and he's just out of Proxima range there. That hurts a little bit. So he has to pick two. Either Thanos and Corvus or Corvus and Zemo. So it looks like he's going after or... Zemo. Well, he could do both. He's got two beams, right? Yeah. But he hits two people per beam, so... Yeah. The important part here is that Corvus gets this minus dice. We don't want Corvus rolling offensive dice. Three hits so far with two crits. Crits roll into... Oh, there goes the wilds. So that's five hits. Nice roll from Crimson Dynamo. And is that a dazed Seymour? Oh, God, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is a crazy game already. Day Zemo drops the cube. Okay, well, okay, so now he can uh, propulsion be beam and take that one if he wants to. Let's see where he puts it. Uh, yeah, over here where it's as close as possible to... Um, to the protection of Luke Cage. But yeah, let's see if we can roll some some di like dating Simo is probably a negative here. All right, nothing uh, goes into uh, Corvus on that beam attack, and no, no shock, nothing, no wild so far. Because yeah, like Simo has gone. So now all you've done is make it more dangerous when Simo activates first next turn. Mm. Because a uh, four dice Simo could just like get yes, like that's nine dice full re-rolls with one extra re-roll. It's not unlikely that that just straight up kills Bill. And if he does the spender, then it's 10 dice. So yeah, Simo, Simo is gonna hurt people here next turn. Alright, he decides to use his thrusters to go next to the cube. Probably to pick yep. it up eventually, but also to position himself for a better beam, I think. Yeah. He was just out of Proxima, and now he's... Way in it. In fact, he's gonna probably get all three. Trying to check so that he can get all three. Yeah. 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 And apparently his rerolls don't stop. Uh, when yeah, as long as you just pierce next down. first. Oh. So the pierce first happens first apparently. So it's not as bad as I thought it was. Hmm. Okay. Uh, three hits, no wilds. No wilds. So Saves two one. attacks with no wilds into him. That's that's sadness. Saves one, so two go through on um, Corvus. Uh, isn't this Corvus? Yeah, that was So Cor then it's a reality gem. Oh, so then, yeah, sorry, thank you. And, he, and he's reducing as well, but yeah, it doesn't matter that he reduces here. He takes one. Okay. He takes one. Now into Proxima. <laughs> this is the beauty of beams. You get all these free actions, essentially. Uh, yeah. not, not good though. One hit, no wilds, and she saves it. Yeah. And lastly, into and Thanos. Can we get one wild at least? 
Well, he One did against Zebo, but then he went uh, dazed him. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, four hits. Nice one with a crit. The crit rolls into. Just another hit. So five hits into effectively two saves. So three will go through. Yeah, that's... Uh... Not bad. Uh. Hey, it's Poulet from France. Hello, brother. So now, how much power do we have here now that is accessible by people? Oh, God. A lot. Nine, yeah, 13, four, 15. 15 power. Do you pull the 15 power dacing Thanos? I'd probably go for it. Yeah, Thanos is... If you, you need to do 5 damage? Oh, sacrifice is online? That is true. That mm. is very, very true. Mm. Sacrifice is definitely still there. Thanos so, yeah. is outside of four of Iron Man. He wants that cube. But like, if you sacrifice into Proxima here and she goes down, then that's another cube that's on the ground. So now comes the question about how do we rearrange the board? Because <laughs> we have to pull him in and kill him with uh, Corvus. Because Corvus currently has four power, so he can't do his... Or he can do his spender, but if he does his spender, then he can't afford to pay for blanks. And then he's worthless. So he needs to get pulled in here, yes. And now, do you trust... Do you trust Corvus to do it? Or do you do attacks mm -hmm. with Thanos? And then... It looks like an attack. Okay. So we are not trusting. <laughs> Corvus got other We way. are not trusting Corvus. <laughs> we are scared. Uh, it's a big scary game. Three hits with a wild trigger into one save. Yeah. Oh, and he's um, mm. re rolling. Uh, yeah, Zemo. But Simo is dazed. Yeah, but doesn't. Oh, work? but uh, his own ability. No, so it's uh, the other person re-rolling Steve's dice because oh, of uh, uh, Crimson Dynamo uh, ability. Pay for it. I I thought you could still get re-rolls off of Zemo even when he's dazed. No. Oh, maybe somebody in the chat can verify um, that. I'm almost certain that you like, could. 99% sure you can't get no? special okay. rules from characters that are dazed. All right. I stand corrected. Um, But yeah. You said it with such conviction I that I was like I know. convinced. And now I'm hearing all the people here no. saying no. And no, that no, feels no. very like Sad. reassuring. Leaderships aren't, though. That's good. Yeah. Leaderships say in effect even when you're dazed. Yes. Okay, so he's moved himself now within four. And of now he's Armin. doing it again where he's placing himself with a two and he's measuring four while he's doing it. And he's checking if he's within one of the point when he drops as well. <laughs> Tor okay. Torvo not happy. <laughs> uh, oh, but look, he's pushing him away. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And That's... Thanos is going to try to punch him again. Yeah. Why did he push Iron Man away? Just to make him blow an action to get into range again? Yeah. And, uh, like, he can keep him. I think he's now out of four of uh, Corvus here, if he walks. I'm not 100% sure about that one, but like you want to keep Proxima safe here, right? Because Proxima is the one that is in the most danger and she can, she holds a point. In the end, this is a point game. You need to keep your own points safe. 
Well, um, Thanos didn't do terribly much damage. Uh, only two went through onto um, Crimson after all that. Only two. Only two. Crimson is tough, but he was looking for a spike. Yeah. The triple measure with one tool. Yeah, yep. And then, but then, like, with their timing usage, I would be afraid of them having to eyeball measure things. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway through. So now comes in the hero of the game. Yay. The one true savior, <laughs> the most powerful character in the game. Is that yes. is that right? Is that your thing? You 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 find uh, Luke Cage incredibly powerful. In this matchup, he is definitely like the core character. Told them about the tools. I. Uh, that makes me feel a little bit iffy because I'm here talking about things as if I'm not disturbing the players, right? You don't want to disturb the integrity of the game when you're dreaming. It's true. However, and, however, the judges, um, the accusers are part of the elimination rounds yeah. and he's watching as well. Okay, yeah. I just, I don't want anything I say to make anything happen. Sure. But yeah, here comes the hero, <laughs> the savior of the Shosen, the most beautiful man in War Machine. <laughs> and he's placed himself, so he's within two, so he can force to take the attack. And he also has Heroes for Hire, yeah, which creates big problems with, um, like, I'm going to call them the Wonder Twins, but husband and wife. Right. Because if you throw one of the characters, it's very easy that they're not within three of each other. Right. So if, like, Steve here, from the start of the turn, next turn, wants to do, like, a one-two punch kind of thing, then Heroes for Hire makes that very, very difficult. Uh, so, yeah. In this scenario, I think Simo will start anyway, so I don't think it's as important here. Mm. But yeah, we can look forward now because there's like I don't think the next three Steve characters will go this far down. Someone has to go to the point on the middle. It's probably Iron Man, and he's probably going to try to push Thanos? Like, I don't think pushing Corvus or Proxima where they will end up here now where they're trying to kill people will matter as much. Because they're, like, kind of backstopped by the house. But, yeah. What are you thinking, Norbert? You put on your thinking face here. <laughs> I did. I'm just trying to decide whether I would go into Luke Cage and just try to wipe him off the map, but... The problem is he doesn't have a cube, but there's no one else really nearby. And one of the biggest problems with Corvus is that he doesn't have any movement tricks apart from the Proxima and and, and, um, and Corvus Super. Apart apparel. from the Mothership card, right? Yeah, but they, they have extracts. Somebody pointed card. out they have extracts. So yeah, they have extracts. So they so can't yeah. use it. So it's offline. Good God, that's a great that's... save roll. My goodness. So that's four so hits I... to three saves. Uh, but he paid for counting blanks. Ah. But, like, that's an atrociously bad Corvus roll. Like, three of the one result he doesn't hit on. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five hits against three saves. Yeah. No, six hits against three saves in a reduce. That's one damage. Oh, I did it wrong. So I was counting the shields. I beg your pardon. Two, four, six. Yeah, six against three. So he took two damage. Yeah. And he reduces one. Two damage. Yeah, right. Two damage. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four with two crits. 
four hits with two crits. And they turn into... I'm still waiting. Another yeah. great save. I'm... My god. There we go. Like, no that's decree here on three attacks where I would have expected to have used them. Yeah. Six minus effectively four. Days is um, him. So he got lucky. Yeah, there. because here's... Yeah. Got a little lucky, but he got the job done. Yeah. I would expect Corvus to daze anyone. Yeah, but he just managed to do it. Uh, he just a... managed to do it. True. Leadership and ability. Looks like Iron Man's going to go forward. Now Iron Man's back on the point. And he can... If he can that slight push on Corvus might be very important here. Because if that takes him outside of two of people, like he can move what, like half an inch towards the building, but that might be enough to get him mm -hmm. outside. Sure. Subway crashed the game again. Huh? Yeah. You have to be very careful about this subway grate. Oh, really? Why is that? When you put things. Uh, so when you put um, these range indicators over it, mm -hmm. then it creates a little bit of a loop where it pushes them out. Oh. And then that can create very big issues. So it's like a like a black hole that gets formed there temporarily and sucks the yeah, ruler in? Like... Oh, wow. And then depending on how good your computer is, <laughs> this either goes into an infinite loop where everything just crashes or it solves itself out by pushing it out. Oh, okay. Well, that looks like they had strong enough computers, thank goodness. Yeah. So Iron Man took the leadership, so he healed one and could walk up, and now he's inside of four of uh, Thanos. I'm not sure about. He's not on the point. Doesn't look like it. Do you not want to score this point this turn? Or do you still have to move anyway? And then does it matter if you were within four of Thanos or not? Mm -hmm. But okay, here comes the pushing train. So Sam does Sam things. He charges up and then he walks back and then... Everything is safe in Samland. Yeah, and the point here is is not so much to get him off the point to prevent scoring, although that's helpful. It's more to get people out of uh, attack range. Yeah, and if he can do it, so here's one of those things: you can choose what order you do the triggers in. So he can go within three, uh, within four of uh, Corvus. Hit Proxim hit Corvus, get the trigger for the extra attack, do that attack, get the trigger on Proxima, push Proxima, then go back to the original attack mm -hmm. and push Corvus. It's right. so like <laughs> he can do things in very, very wacky orders. Mm -hmm. Yep. But seems like he chose to go after Proxima first, because yeah. So we're looking He's for. He's not guaranteed well, oh, he to got get the, he wild. Got, he got the trigger, so it's happening. He got the trigger, and but it's two against two so far, so he needs to get a damage as well. Oh, I see. So okay. he doesn't get the damage, so he doesn't get the push here. Okay. But, but he, he does gets get the trigger. Rico ricochet. He puts that into. I would probably put it into Thanos here. Like that's. Ooh. You have lower odds of dealing damage into Thanos, like it's almost 1 in 10. But if you push Thanos here, that is pretty impactful. Okay, so it's three hits into two saves. Is um, is um, Corvus's damage reduction down minimum 1 or minimum 0? To a minimum of 1. Minimum 1. So he is pushed here now. Yeah, he takes the damage and he's pushed. Right. And then the question is, how far can he get with this angle? That looks about it. That's probably good enough, right? Yeah, absolutely. He was just about in two before, so. Uh, so now, but he is going to have seven power, so he's going to be able to do his big hero attack next turn. 
Keep in mind, uh, yeah. Impulse has Heroes for Hire and Sacrifice. Yeah. But now the damage is starting to like build up here, right? Like, oh yeah, Corvus is gonna be on two next turn. And yeah, Sam walks back and he gained more power than he spent, so he's like, <laughs> I'm right. here. Steve is. Uh... That should be done, right? I think Steve is looking. What's this? Move? Yeah. What's this movement? Oh, he must have used the airlift ability as he walked past. And oh, air right. Yeah, an airlift. That's really smart. <laughs> an airlifted uh, crimson dynamo even further away. I did not think of that. That is that is brilliant. But okay, now he he won't have power to charge Ooh, next turn. There's now. A, it's a bit of a cheat though. But... That's um, size two is the maximum airlift, and crimson. I'm pretty sure size three, as the chat is pointing out to us. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, that's sure also enough. true. Sure enough. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So it's size two on that one? I thought it was size three on I, that one. I think the, I think people are right, but we can check Can it. we read, Sam? Yep. There he is. Airlift at the bottom there, and yep, character size two or less. Uh, yep, okay. That's uh... a significant uh, advantage. <laughs> Yaj! Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not up to us. Okay, nope. uh, but why is Black Widow being moved? Or sorry, Iron Man. I beg your pardon. Oh, he just uh, must it's, have passed. He must have passed. I'm thinking he passed here, right? Yeah, because yeah, he doesn't have anything else to do. Now he's looking bloodthirsty here. He's going after Corvus. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, ooh, fantastic hit. Four hits, including two crits and the wild. <laughs> Cry havoc and release the accusers of war. <laughs> oh, looks yeah. like the accusers. So they're putting spent. this one back, and then I'm thinking he's going to just put this one on the, on the point, right? Like, yeah. That's the fairest thing to do here, I think. Because he would... Like, you would put Iron Man on this point if there was no one on the point. So, um... Four hits into... Two, effectively, three saves is one more damage. Uh, M no. Misses it by no. one. <laughs> No, he didn't, because now Corvus daces from the cube damage. Sure. And then next turn, you're going to have a damaged Corvus to deal with. Ugh. With enough power to do a spender and then count blanks on the attack afterwards. This is going to dace both these models, probably. Hmm. So, yeah. I think we can say goodbye to Bill and to Luke Cage, two of the like toughest models in the game. <laughs> I think the timing on the better a Bill turn one. Yeah. 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 This whole turn wouldn't have gone this way though, right? Like he wouldn't have power to deal with Beta Ray Bill and to deal with uh, and Luke Cage in the same turn without things. So, um, looks like Impulse is elected to have Iron Man just do that one attack and then sit there. Because now he's ticked. No, he walked up there, walked. right? He walked, yeah, sorry. Thanks. You walked up there. But now no one is on the middle point. Which is kind of scary. So I think it's Proxima into Crimson Dynamo. Yeah, Proxima is doing her bouncing attack. Five dice yellow to be able to stand next to him. Um, Not bad. One, two, three, four hits into yeah. one save. 
And now there's a poison here as well. And he's uh, got damage uh, reduction, everybody. So four yeah. into two means two go through. And then the place. And where does she want to stand where she feels safe for next turn? Who wants to... I feel like there's going to be an execute here at the start of next turn, right? Mm. So then standing here allows him to do the execute on either of these two characters. But yeah, do you run Black Widow up to take the middle point? But there's no one on the back point then, so... Yeah, yeah. For people yeah. who are just tuning in, uh, Sam is hiding behind the Dumplin' building. You can just sort of see him in the middle of the board. And Black Widow is behind her um, little overhead display bar all the way on the back point on your right. And so she looks like she's moving right in the middle of everybody. I guess Thanos isn't on the point and Corvus isn't on the point. So yeah, now he's realizing is. that he doesn't have anyone on the point. Yeah. He needs to snug in exactly between these two models. Yeah. And also uh, helps him uh, limit the way he can, uh, she can be pushed. Yeah. By being jammed in some bodies. Uh, not within two there either. So count sacrifice into Iron Man. Uh. All right. Second attack goes into Crimson Dynamo. And it looks like Death's Decree <laughs> happened. Okay. Everybody who's been waiting for this. <laughs> like, why isn't he buying, buying Death's Decree? <laughs> But like that's the Cree with Proxima is weird. Yeah, well, it's a weird game. It's just a different game. And what did the like, dice tell us? I heard dice being thrown, but they're not coming up. There they go. Why didn't he put Sam on the midpoint? Because then Proxima can kill Sam. I think like. Anything that can kill Sam turns this game into a very dangerous spot. Sam has such a huge bullseye on his face. What I was thinking about was, should Sam be placed so that he could stand on the back point? And then you can stand Widow on the middle point. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here. They are thinking about something but it's four hits into it looks like two saves i'm not sure if the crit oh here uh, oh maybe it's crimson dynamo making him re-roll dice making him re-roll dice and being scared of making him re-roll into a wild i would guess oh. but uh the thing has already happened so pierce has already happened so you shouldn't be scared of this here now so it looks like one more damage goes through on Dynamo. He's sitting on five out of six. So, yeah. So we're looking for the big turn here now. The big turn for Black Order. Will they break the game? <laughs> we have Black Widow left to go. Uh, uh, yeah, she uh, stands where she stood and she's happy. She's scoring two points a turn. Yeah, Proxima she's a needs good a two tick. Threat. Proxima didn't get a tick, which is not great for the the way the uh, computer works. Yeah, it's not great for who's going to get the priority here automatically, but like you just flip the token over and that's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, if they catch it, but let's see. But yeah, nine to six. So now we need a seven point turn for uh, Sam to win this turn. Realistically, we need like a four point turn, right? And yep, yeah, here comes the two day sets of characters that are gonna place out their cubes. Hey, Lucas is in the chat. He woke up. He was been partying all night with his his wife. I think it was a birthday party, her wife. And so he couldn't tune in right at the beginning, but what a champ comes in at a good time. I 
do not like placing this cube here down in the middle between everything. <laughs> I would... Seems like they're both probably, going back. Yeah. So, I would probably place this cube of Corvus down towards Bill, right? Forcing people to move if they want to grab it. But yeah, here's going to be some explosive dice in this. Okay. And he hasn't flipped Corvus yet. There we go. And he hasn't done his power face either. <laughs> I don't know these guys. <laughs> now we have 10 power coming in. Yeah, and it is um, Black Order's priority. Uh, they uh, didn't do the ticks right, and so the, the priority mm. token is on the wrong side. But yeah. So, how do we start this turn? What do you think? Me? What uh, do you value most? Yeah, I mean, I feel like the problem is Luke throwing somebody, you know? Yeah. Um, Dynamo and Bill are both injured, but full health now. Um, so is Cage. It's a lot of beef to get through. I guess the question is who can who can afford being thrown by Luke Cage? Thanos? Because he can move himself back. Hmm. So I think you have to start with Proxima here because mm -hmm. she does her thing first and she kicks in Corvus. Somehow Brace and I some they they th threw brace uh he flipped brace for some reason i think he means that he's flipping execute uh, right no 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 he's flipping brace <laughs> oh did he use brace but oh. there has not been any throws i don't know it's bizarre i lost i, I lost the plot here um so it looks like three hits. I think it's Proxima. Going three Proxima hits. starts. She does an attack. She has the pierce. Do they know that the pierce is before the rerolls on Dynamo or not? Who knows? <laughs> is that right? Once the pierce happens in, if, if you roll the wilds out, you still have the pierce? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You attacker modifies defender's dice before defender modifies attacker's dice okay so that was proxima into luke cage and luke cage took three damage out of five and has triggered heroes for hire as we expected but if heroes for hire was on this attack then he would have moved first so i think she's doing the second attack now into him I and see. since this was a place attack. She gets to place within two. So then there's no pierce on this attack. So why didn't Crimson Dynamo pay for rerolls? I don't know. I don't know. That was very confusing. It's hard to know sometimes if you don't listen to things verbally and, and perhaps they also didn't do things correctly. Who knows? Yeah. But so now she's placed where she can pick up both cubes and she can have three cubes on herself. And then she can run the heck away. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Project save all the cubes. <laughs> she gathers them up like little Easter eggs. Runs off. But yeah. And then what else? Or does he want to murder people? Who knows? So one of the things that happens when uh, you play, uh, what's it called, uh, Heroes for Hire on yourself. Hang on. So it looks like um, she's going into uh, Bill. Hill. Yeah. And Bill has the same red and yellow. So I would guess he does his red attack here. Uh, so he has the wild pierce. So he's got three, four, five with pierce. Oh, fantastic save by Bill. Good God. Jeez. Where? Oh, my God. I would love those dice. 
I need, I need, to, I'm hoping the new core box dice are better for me. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, six. No. Oh, Crimson Dino made him reroll dice. It's five. With, yeah. But the, apparently the pierce still works, right? Is what you told me. Yeah. The pierce should have worked first here. Three, so four, that's five. four defense against five. So this should be him paying one and being done. Oh no, so he did his yellow attack to be able to move over there instead. Okay. So there's no pierce on the yellow attack. I see. Alright, so no damage goes through on Bill. So now. <clears throat> what do we value on Corvus? And she is too scared to pick up any cubes. Probably she's a sacrifice target here now. But we're setting up an execute into who? Good question. And it's just decreed as well. I saw Thanos just spending yes. some power. So, it's a big one. Probably into Bill. I'm gonna. Imagine. But he's not paying for. Uh, he's not paying for the spender. So then it's only range two. So then it can only be better Ray Bill. But yeah, a better a bill aggressive, but then he has to take damage, and he wasn't taking damage with that current roll. I think that he used brace because, like you were saying, Luke Cage used heroes are higher on himself. Yeah, which caused the throw, and but, then yeah. But if you do heroes for hire on yourself, you have to place within one of yourself. Mm -hmm. So you can't stand in the same point where you stand because you have to measure the one from where your base is and then move somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So you can't be like in the same spot when you play yeah, you have to, that card on yourself. You have to be a and, minimum of exactly outside of the circle that you were standing on. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think happened here, did it? I think he just stood there. I think he just stood there. Yeah. So that's why I'm a bit confused. Yeah. yeah I had the same but, problem uh, Pat told me that a long time ago when I was playing Ant-Man. Because, you know, Ant-Man does have yeah, some of the Yeah, because you often want Ant-Man to go back into the point where he is. And then, yes, no, you have to transform. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're in... We're first activation, turn three. And they have 24 minutes left on his death clock. Yeah, I know. You know, Impulse used a lot of uh, Steve's time because of the clock being borked before. Okay. Oh, apparently Luke doesn't have to move, um, Troborn. Uh, it doesn't work the same way as what? you're thinking. That's that's coming straight from the Dunford. No. Wait. Am I wrong here? Wow. Oh. Damn, I'm wrong. The two titans are am fighting. Let the haiku fight. Not haiku. What am Ooh. I thinking? Kaiju. Haiku. <laughs> kaiju. I made a haiku out of that bungled <laughs> analogy. <laughs> All right. So finally, the big blow from Corvus going into Crimson Dynamo. Now that Heroes for Hire is offline. And... Oh, God. Not a great roll. Uh, three, four, five with two crits. Five hits with two crits. The crits roll into uh, two more. So six, seven hits into two saves plus damage reduction means uh, seven minus three is four. Four points. Um, but I think Crimson probably paid for rerolls. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, he lost one in there. So he's got four, five, six going into three, so three should go through. And I'm so stuck on this thing with Pat here, but as I read the card, you have to place the character within one of the oh, allied Oh, he counts blanks. And sorry. you are the allied character yourself. I'm sorry, I so misled everybody. I would rule that as Luke has to move, but maybe I have to look into the rules for him. Yeah, more. dig deep in there. Sure, Dig deeper into the rules firm. So what happened was I missed. I forgot that uh, D um, Corvus is counting blanks. So he rolled yeah. a crap so ton he... of hits and knocked out Crimson Dynamo. So the beam is off the table, which is good because everybody is clumped up together and those beams were just free attacks. Boom, 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 boom. But like, and there was a sacrifice from 
better a bill into him okay. because otherwise he wouldn't have been in range. Okay. And now my question is, could he have placed Luke with Heroes for Hire such that he would have been within two and then Luke had died from this attack instead? Yeah. Wow. Well, but if you sacrifice over to where Crimson was, can then... Oh, no, no, because uh, uh, it's reverse bodyguard. It's a taunt. Yeah, that, it's reverse bodyguard. It's yeah, a taunt. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, and Corvus... And that's the problem with him pushing Dan, uh, pushing Corvus out of range as well. With, But yeah, you never want to daze Black Order characters. That's, that's where the problem starts. That's where the problems end. Mm-hmm. So when you daze black order characters, they get four extra dice, and that's just ugly. Yeah. So now we're looking at another spender, right? I, I just want to make sure that people know that Corvus also picked up that cube that was sitting there. Yep. And yeah, so it should be another attack. Now this is mother and uh, oh, sorry, husband and wife. So Proxima husband went and, and finished. They did execute, but now it's just um, um, Corvus gets to activate immediately after. This is their thing yeah but this was a corvus attack like this was a corvus attack and now corvus is gonna pay seven for the spender so he's gonna count blanks and do the spender and that's yes seven dice we're looking at six average damage here into six hits but, oh my god yes, beta and bill with these saves for the love of god jesus <laughs> Better a bill said no. <laughs> he's doesn't. He's doing it all came. Good lord. He said no. Oh uh, my god. And yeah, there's a leadership trigger here that is missed. Because I don't see anyone healing one. Wow. Bill tanks a hyper-powered Corvus attack. Good god. Yeah, no flurry trigger, but like. Getting the flurry trigger is below 50% chance and you have seven dice magical. This is where I would have done thing differently. So, but yeah, now we can see one of the powers of like execute versus not execute, right? Getting two extra dice makes it more likely that you get the trigger. Corvus picked up another but, um, cube as well. So it doesn't show on the overhead display, but he has two and Proxima has one. Now he has to die. But how the hell does he die? There is sacrifice on um, Steve's side still available. Yeah. Uh, how much does it cost, though? It costs one. Oh, okay. He's got that power. Yeah. Yeah, missed the move Luke Cage into bodyguard range. Yeah, that was definitely something he could have done. Like, I would probably, like, want to try to keep people safe, but... Like, healing Iron Man and moving him backwards slightly. Because the danger now is that Simo kills someone, right? And Zemo can long move charge. And we currently have two. But yeah, we're at we're at eighteen minutes left for Corvus. This this actually where we're getting close to clock being a win condition, right? Yeah, sure. But keep in mind, um, Impulse was using Steve's clock until they figured it out. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're probably not as interested in clock. Yeah, I think it's too screwed up now. Thing. But I mean, this this kind of sitting around here talking kind of stuff is, and I only keep mentioning it because Steve's uh, playing Steve is notorious about time. People will spend ages trying to figure out what they should do and whether they should do the leadership move and which direction, yada yada, which is all fine except that it should be eating up the person's clock because, um, 
you know, that's that's on them to be using their time to think through that sort of stuff. Yeah. And other, I, uh, and I if, don't know. If, if you don't have a clock, then the Steve... Notice that. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Uh, but I clicked over to my time several times to measure things during my opponent's play in the cut. Mm. It's like I wanted to measure. Uh, I wanted to take a look at what a lifesaver would look like. Like I hit over to my time. I tell my opponent, "Hey, I hit over to my time here because I need to think a little bit and I need to look at this." Yep, that's fair. And then, you know, but uh, Steve car- players. Um, sorry, I keep saying that. Sam players uh, without a clock um, are notorious for running very long games. Yeah. It's a very hard leadership, right? There's yeah. so many different options you can do with it. Yep, but time is a resource. And here's we're seeing. So now since Brace is burnt, then Bill can kill someone. Who is Bill trying to kill? Okay, so it's a toss into him. Is it a throw? Yeah, a throw into... I didn't see who was the uh, target, but it's two saves. Corvus. Up. Corvus. All right, so two. So he takes one damage. Yep, because of damage reduction. Yeah. Oh, no, he even... But yeah, it's still one damage because he's it's still... Uh, yeah. The building but was yeah, size Corvus. three, so it's four damage. Two saves and one damage reduction means one goes through. Yeah, but he has... So now he blocks three because he rolled in one skull as well. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, now the attack. Bill's doing his attack. Three hits. This is where I'm scared. Four hits with a crit. Crit rolls into... A save, so nothing. So four hits into... One save. God. So that should be two going through. Three out of six. So two damage here with the damage reduction, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The reroll from Simo is really doing a lot of work here. Okay, one more action to go. Bill should be pancake by now. No, Bill. Bill was saved by the whole team, right? <laughs> Everyone was there to protect Bill. Okay, so what are like our well, what are our considerations here? I don't know. Um, seems like Bill could probably take out Corvus. No. No? <laughs> like, you do a hurl attack into him to force out the sacrifice into Proxima, maybe? But Proxima doesn't have power, so Proxima isn't a sacrifice target. So... Hurl attack into him to force out the sacrifice into... Do you sacrifice into Thanos? Would you sacrifice into Thanos here? Hmm. That's a good question. But doesn't look like it. It's going into Corvus straight. Uh, so Corvus only saves one. Oh my god, and Bill rolls four hits again with two crits. The crits crits don't go into anything, so it's four hits into uh, two saves thanks, thanks to Zemo. So four with the damage reduction uh, goes down to just one hit point through. Phew. And this is the trigger, right? The trigger for Hurl is... So he gets an extra hit point uh, by being thrown into Zemo. Zemo has to dodge uh, three points of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So this is... Like, four hits out of seven dice isn't that crazy. Like... Saves one, takes three. Uh, sorry, takes two. That's that's fine. So yeah. Zoom, um, so now yeah. We are not getting any more activations out of Corvus. 
Yeah, he's dead. Corvus is gone now. <laughs> now the question is, what else does happen here? So it's Zemo and Thanos left to go. Uh, the cubes are on uh, the the impulses cubes are on Iron Man in the center of the board, and Black Widow all the way on the right. You can't see her really. And this is where it really hurts that he missed that one trigger of the leadership on Iron Man, right? Because she... now Simo can go after Iron Man. I see, yeah. Because he's close enough. Yeah. Do you find that Steve players and... generally use the leadership to walk away? I use it generally to walk away. I'm not a very good Sam player, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. It takes so much reps to get them in. But either you use it to line up beams because you daze someone, or you use it to keep extract carriers safe, I think. And usually there is some way for an extract carrier to get killed, and you just have to keep your extract safe, or you die. Because mm. usually if you don't win by turn four with Sam, then you've lost the game. Mm. Interesting. Like, how many times you can trigger the leadership is a very limited resource. It is only two per character. But yeah. Okay, so... A lot of chit-chat. What would you do on, here? On Steve's... <laughs> I don't know, but he needs to be doing something. I, I, I like what people are saying in the chat. I Maybe get Zemo to charge on an oblique angle away from... Uh, Luke Cage and start pounding on Iron Man since he has a cube and Zemo's the most um, mobile but then of course he doesn't give the rerolls to Thanos but, but he, what is Thanos going to do afterwards well I think Thanos would take down um, well he'll probably have to take down Cage and then try to go after Bill a bit the thing is Helios is on the line Yes, so there's no way you can let Iron Man live this turn, right? Yeah. Because so, if he lives here now... Maybe it'd be better for Thanos to draw in Iron Man and punch him to death. So then we have two six dice attacks with throws into the thing on the wilds. So we're looking at one throw, he has four defense, he has damage reduction one... Then we're expecting like two damage, three damage with the throw. That's very risky. Mm. Plus, he'd have then to, you look at he has to throw, he has to move Cage away from Thanos himself as well. Yeah. So Simo here gets ten dice if he charges in, does his spender, and gets that's decree, and then he gets to walk a medium. So he might even kill, like, it's not impossible here for oh, wow. Zemo Zemo's to just kill gonna... Widow. Zemo's just going after a cage. Yeah. Okay. What I'm thinking here is that someone Ooh. has to go down <laughs> on top. Zemo has been the MVP on the, on the yeah. Black Order. Yeah. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Six with four crits. A cage saves one, damage reduction one. That's the end of... Wow. And this was only a nine dice attack, right? Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so this, was, this wasn't this was a spender, so now he's... Spending. He can't move off this attack. But here comes a charge, a spender, and re-rolls. Yeah. I would guess. Yeah. But leadership comes first. Oh, I see. Okay. Now we get to see, can Iron Man get out of range here? Right. Because he doesn't have to do anything this turn. Like, Corvus is dead. He has secured the Corvus kill with the uh, cube damage. And he'll lose, like, four points to three. So, like... He'll be 12-12, which is not great.
But yeah, this is time that definitely shouldn't be going on the blue clock. No, absolutely not. They've been not very good about the clocks, I'm afraid. And he wants to get the tax into Corvus for some reason, because he wants to pick up the cubes. So... But now I think he's in range here for, like, the schmack. Oh, he decides to go after Zim, uh, Bill instead. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't want to leave the bubble. Nice and cozy. Well, apparently English players don't want to leave the back of their E. <laughs> so that's four hits with two crits. And two. Wow, Bill finally actually only got one save. Remarkable. What happened, Bill? It's the power of Zemo. He's overawed by the Baron. That's six hits into... Oh, he gets his reroll. Oh, let's hang on. Yeah, he has reroll all and seven then his hits own reroll. into effectively two saves. Means five go through. Bill can't save that. That's the end of Bill. Wow, Zemo. <laughs> Getting the job and done. This, <laughs> this is why you don't hurt Black Order characters. You just... Don't hurt them. Just, just don't. <laughs> Avoid. What is it? You mean just go after points instead? Yeah, just, just don't hurt them. <laughs> if you hurt them, all you're doing is giving them more power and then more dice from Death's Decree and then more power. Just, just don't attack them. So what do you? What Leave do you, them be. What are you worried about then? In your experience playing Black Order, what, what, what concerns you? Like, this scenario, we could have had a 3-1, like, lead, right? And then scoring five points, and then five points, and then six points. Mm. By dacing someone the turn when it matters. Oh, no. that The, the subway bork. No. It's made its appearance again. <sighs> now we wait. Now we wait, and we hope this doesn't happen yep, again. Yep, it's but Yeah, okay. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, so this is, when you see me do things on this map, I just remove this one and replace it with a car or something. I see. Interesting. Good, good, good. Because uh, when it clicks like this, then it just creates an infinite loop of pushing it out and then pushing it back in. Uh, this subway entrance is on two other maps as well in the current standard, I'm pretty sure. Where he replaced it with a card? Yeah, like a... A card. <laughs> yep. You can replace it with anything you want. I usually take a cop car because they're also size twos i know this size two is slightly smaller than the cop car but like it's fine right yeah unfortunately now my tabletop simulator will take forever to reload okay so uh how many followers do you have on this channel now dr norbert Ooh, uh that's a good question i i never really look um, can we you could hit, take a peek probably yeah you have the page open on my twitch anyway oh, I, I have almost I wanted to look at mine oh okay I have almost 600 on YouTube subscribers so like, if you're hearing this like and subscribe uh, it's just so that uh, I uh, can reach more people I couldn't care less about it otherwise and uh, certainly not making any money off of it 540 followers. For who? You or me? You. Oh. You had 540 followers on Twitch. Okay, a little less on Twitch. I have no idea how to look to my own channel there. I am uh, killing Tabletop Simulator and starting it up. That sounds like a good idea. Aha! I'm winning. Oh, what do you stream? Uh, I used to stream uh, a card game called uh, Gods Unchained. Okay. 
but yeah. How many do you um how many did you say you had? One point two. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is what happens. Um, <laughs> is it... okay. Killing it. Uh, apparently Sam is charging into Corvus, so I'll say I'm back. Now we're having some but he didn't have enough power to charge? Oh, I don't know anymore, you know. He only had one power? Did he get a leadership trigger on himself? Possibly. But that doesn't give power here, right? It's it's uh, Malekith that gives power. This one heals and removes a status. Right? Or he has two power now. Oh, right. He wasn't able to do the airlift last turn. Right. And now we see Sam being the hero he is. He's going to scoop up those cubes and run away after dazing uh, Corvus. He is, yes. The <laughs> best character in the game. <laughs> oh. But okay, yep. So that's, uh, that's probably game over. Like, that's... The airlift you have to start within two as well, right? I think so. So yeah, so that's it's not possible to airlift Iron Man even further back here now, I don't think. But yeah. Ooh. So there are the two cubes. Ricochet apparently yes. didn't do anything onto Zemo. But he's going to take the two cubes and then just hide behind that building again. That gives him... Um, I think he can run even further than just back behind the building. Yeah, yeah, sure. But he's blocking line of sight regardless. And um, Line of sight doesn't matter against Thanos. Thanos doesn't care no, about I line see. of sight. Yeah, true. So, I, I... so that's one, two, three, four cubes and two points. Six points. Six points. Just shy of winning the game. Yeah. But uh, one point, not going to be a problem because then Sam's just going to run into another corner and that'll be... I don't think I would stand anyone on the middle point here because it's just more likely that dangerous things happen. But that's the way it is. So did something happen to the stream here now? Or... Okay. Oh, oh, oh I, I forgot to uh, share it again with you because it went off. No, it's... Can you see it still or no? I have your stream on the big screen on the TV, so it's fine. There but you go. I've shared it now. Just wanted to check so that everything was fine. Yeah, it was because I had to so kill this. There weren't any problems. Yeah. But wow. Yeah. So, yeah, didn't kill fast enough, it seems like. Right? Yeah. Like, and this was, like, a very good version here now right but how do we feel about not using laser this turn mm. I, I, look he's going to get the points to win next turn yeah like it's a laser <laughs> it's the cool it's a laser sh shame not to use it is what you mean <laughs> I'm thinking Thanos now has to kill a full health Iron Man, or this is probably rough. If he goes after Sam, that's he gets one attack, right? I don't think he's within four after a place two here. Yeah. So I think he has to go after Iron Man with two attacks. Iron Man Spender? No, but it's it's Thanos' turn to do things. It's a turn-based game. <laughs> and, okay, so he did the leadership on Widow as well? No, Widow's... So Widow has only taken one damage. Oh, I see. Right, yeah, she didn't move, but she reduced it. So I think his opponent let him do one of his forgotten 
leadership triggers as well. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So he's moved Iron Man forward and yeah. going to then move himself forward. No, no, he's still moving Iron Man. Oh. Placed him with the with his portal and then moving him with the stone. Okay. So now I would place him so that you can just toss him into the subway thing, yeah. Subway thing. Yeah. Over and over again. I guess yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what is important. And you need to get him far enough away that he can't walk up to Proxima, daze her, get the cube, and win the game. Hmm. All right. So this is looking dangerous. Full health uh, Iron Man. And Thanos yep. is going to punch him in the face. Because now we need... We need seven points. So if we get all five cubes and oh, two God. of the things. <laughs> oh, no, Thanos. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not going to do it, Thanos. Jesus. <laughs> Learn from Zemo, man. Well, Thanos started the game with doing a five hits on six dice. So now he's ending the game by doing one hit on five dice, on six dice. That's <laughs> That's how it works. One damage goes through. He's got one more. No, no wild to throw him. Nothing. Yeah. Here we go again. So. That's better. <laughs> That's much better. Five with two crits. Saves are good, though. Two saves with a crit. Saves didn't crit into anything more. Uh, and I don't think they hit. Oh, here comes the reroll. Hang on. Um. Now he can't Avengers Assemble either. Ugh. Nope, so that's five. Oh, wait, no, there's the reroll still from Zemo. Okay, there's another hit. So six into two saves with damage reduction means three go through, leaves him on one hit point. Classic. And the throw. Oh, the throw would do it. Phew! <laughs> the throw. Yikes. That, that would have been scary. And Thanos conveniently has a power to pick up that cube. That's going to pop off of Iron Man. Boop. But yeah, this is where I think Avengers Assemble could have been used. Get you out of range. Hmm, interesting. Oh, did he brace it? I, he still had brace online. Oh, thanks, guys. I had forgotten he still had it online. Oh, that's bad then. Thanos. And instead of moving himself on the point, he's moving Proxima onto the point. Uh huh. That that's dangerous. That is very, very, very dangerous. Uh, he has Sacrifice, but she doesn't have power to use it. Uh, he has... He needs one power to pick up the cube. And so he can put six power himself and then four power into Laser. And then he can walk up to the point and Laser her with ten dice. Mm -hmm. And if he does three damage, he picks up the cube, he stands on the point, mm -hmm. and then that's game over. Wow. Let's see if he remembers to do it. He's got, let's see, his team, only um, non-KO people can contribute power. So that's seven. He's got 11, 11 dice that he could be rolling. Uh, and it's two extra dice, but he needs one power to be able to pick up the thing. Uh-huh. But okay, he doesn't even want to go for the win this turn. No, I don't blame him. Go for the sure thing next turn. I would probably roll the laser first. Like, he wanted a double. What move. are you doing with the power here? He's just double moving. But he can move and Avengers assemble out of range as well if he uh, wants to. Right. Yeah. It is amazing that Avengers assemble still hasn't been played. 
Yeah, like... I don't know. Anyway, 14 to 11, based on that. And yep. Impulse, Jared has... Um, oh, he dazes... The cube dazes Iron Man. Okay. Um, but uh, he's got essentially one, two, three, four cubes on his side. So he just yep. needs to... I mean, really, he just needs to move uh, Sam away. I don't, I don't uh, know. Moving Sam away isn't good enough, right? Why? He'll get... Isn't Sam the one holding... He'll go, only Sam goes away to the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he gets up to 16. Yep. And then there's three portals and three cubes on the table. Six. So that's six points. So that gets his opponent up to 17. So, I think what Thanos has to do here with his first activation is just killing Black Widow. Just murder her once and for all. Because, yeah. If Widow gets to run up, pick up this cube, and go into another corner... Then this is impossible, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, Steve, Mister Mukau, needs all the points on the board except for the two that um, Sam has to win. And Proxima can uh, mothership to Thanos, mm. or she can run up and then mothership Thanos up. That's also a choice. But I think he's looking at if. He can charge Simo into the fray. And I don't think so. Because he's standing at the back of his point and she's standing at the back of hers. So I don't think they are inside of range of each other. Wait, he has his spenders. Yes, they are. And does he have enough power? No, he only has five power. So he can't get full rerolls on his spender. And he probably won't be within four of Thanos there when he's within three of Widow. Oh, someone is correcting me that no, Proxima can't go because she has the thing. Yes, okay. You are correct. So it has to be Thanos that goes to Proxima. So Proxima has to go stand on the middle in move two here and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. Thanos goes after there. Oh god, I think this thing borked again. Oh, this is so annoying. Why didn't they replace it the first time? I don't know. Or just don't put the damn stick on there, you know. Ugh. But they're still waving their hands so I think oh, hooray. it's gonna solve itself here. Yeah, thank goodness. But at least we're getting out some knowledge here about... Oh, wait. I'm way out of frame, I've noticed. No, you're that. fine. You're fine. Don't worry. I, I prefer you on the on that side of the screen anyway, the way my layout works. You're doing fine. You're looking very, like, very you're, sophisticated you there. see. Like, I I'm doing my best, Hugo. I haven't figured out how to get in any in hard-on jokes in here today. But <laughs> like, I'm in my suit. I have my winning... <laughs> Jersey on. I'm actually over here. Drinking some fruity drink. And. All right. Gentlemen, let's try moving something. <laughs> Just... And this is when it's four minutes left on the death clock. Yeah. And I'm like. Uh, I'm not happy to be here. So, yeah. And this is when you needed to spend a little bit less time on the first couple of turns. Mm -hmm. Exactly that. Like, the first turn taking 10 minutes is just inexcusable. Yeah. When you know what you're going to do. 
But okay, so it looks like he's gonna try to do the spender into Sam. Because then he's within four of uh, Thanos, I think. So then Thanos can get extra dice. And yeah. I really wish he had used Avengers Assemble last turn. Mm, sure. Yeah, it would have moved Sam even further away. And Widow, for that matter. And like, I think he could have done the thing so that he did the laser first and tried that and saw how it went and then went into yeah because like Iron Man would stand at approximately the same point so I don't think it would matter that much like he would stand at the front of that house instead if it failed mm hmm And 10 dice getting 3 damage into Proxima, like, it happens. But yeah, now we're seeing here. And we're playing with very limited amount of power on, on Thanos here now. <clears throat> I'm seeing these minutes tick. Yeah, I mean, the clocks aren't right, though, because they messed up the clock so badly. But it's still, overall, the game has got about 20 minutes left in it. Um, so hopefully they'll call it soon if this doesn't work. Yeah, this is... Uh, so if Widow just grabs the cubes and runs, then there's too many points on the table, so then Black Order wins. Mm. Uh, all right, here he comes needs the, here comes the spender. all three of these, and that's not possible. Because, like, Widow is... Uh, but he won't be on the point now where he's placed himself. Because mm. he needs to go pick up these cubes. Or Widow picks up two cubes, and then she no. has enough cubes to win That's the it. game. Just two hits, and they're all saved. Uh, he has re-rolls, right? Sure. Oh, is he counting blanks? No, he's not counting blanks, but uh, yeah. he has an ability where he can re-roll all the dice in an attack. Yeah, I got three skulls. That's unfortunate. All right, so it looks like three right. hits. Or is Master Swordsman only within two as well? It's within two when you attack him, and then on an attack he makes, right? Mm, okay. But Don't maybe he didn't have enough power for it on the spender and everything. But yeah, okay. Good. Three hits, blocked it all. Yeah. Then he walks back to the back of the point, and then he's done. Well, he could do Avengers and then, Assemble and get Black Widow out of the, out of the way, too. Yep. Yep. Or just, you know, maybe use the laser card you've got. <laughs> just end the game. <laughs> if he daces either Proxima or Thanos here, right? It's game over. Mm -hmm. So if he just goes up and does the laser at either of them, then that's fine. Or he could do the laser at uh, Zemo as well. Because then he's not standing on a point, so then two points down in the corner wins. Yeah, he's going to use Avengers Assemble. So he then good with lasers. Yep, yep, yep. You, I, you have to use all your tactics cards in a game. Like, <laughs> sitting and saving tactics cards until turn 7 is just... Yeah, sure. Turn 7. Not great. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, here comes Avengers Assemble. Okay. Yep. Keeping everybody safe. That's the end of um, Sam's activation. We'll see what Steve wants to do if he's going to call it. So Proxima should run up to the to the front point here, right?
Because then you can get a mothership down there. And if you survive the mothership, the, uh, survive the laser, then maybe things can happen. Or... Unfortunately, I won't be able to stick around for questions. Um, I'm yeah, under, under sure. some time pressure today, and this game has gone. A little it bit was long. lovely to. Yeah, it was really great to remind. I haven't spent so much time with you uh, for a long time, so this is yeah, wonderful. It's Iron Moot 2014. Oh right? gosh, that's such a great con. I love it. I, I mentioned that hotel to the um, Swedes because they're thinking of doing a two-day event in the springtime. Yeah. And they weren't aware of that hotel, so I've turned them on to it. So let's see if it works out for them. But it'd be great to so see. That's in Gothenburg. That's pretty far away from us. Yeah, sure. I think it was going to be Lund or Gothenburg. So in either case, it'd still be a trip for you. I'm I'm Lund. Oh, you're in Lund. Oh. Well then, it's yes, a, a yes. problem. This is my local, my local place. Fantastic. Okay, here comes Proxima. She's picking up this cube. She's standing on the point. So now she's forcing some kind of action here. Mm -hmm. I think. Are we gonna see her do the thing or? Because she wants in Thanos. Oh, so she, right. She only had two powers. So she can't afford to pick up the cube here now. Mm -hmm. After doing this. So this and is now... Mothership. Yes. And that's... Now Proxima finally done. a Helios laser. To end the game. Into Proxima, yeah? I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. But Proxima is easier to go down. Yeah. True. That's that's good point. You can walk up, do it into Simo as well. Mm. Want to thank everybody for watching today. Uh, appreciate all the people in the chat helping us uh, make sure we get all the rules right, and yeah. e even teaching Torborn about Heroes for Hire placements. Apparently, <laughs> I will look up the rules for him on this topic. Okay, I don't believe him. We need. It. Where we need are it. you, Pat? Let's fight. <laughs> Let the kaiju fight. <laughs> Luckily, hopefully I'll get Pat next round. Do you have heroes for hire in your <laughs> your roster? <laughs> I'm gonna have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's there. All right. He's electing to do the easy thing and just move Widow away. So that means three yeah. points to him. Almost certainly automatically. And then there's nothing Thanos can do, I think. So that's 17 points for Impulse, and Thanos will get 11, 12, 13, so 14. Thanos can reach the corner with uh, Sam, I think. And, like, Sam is game-winning, Widow is not, so... Yeah, so he should just be going after Sam if it's possible, otherwise it's not worth... Okay, he... Oh, wait, he doesn't have two power on him because he used his uh, two power on giving four dice to... Mm. Uh, Proxima? No, A to... Zemo. Uh, Simo. Yeah. Simo's attack. Yeah. Simo's attack that failed. So now he's stuck in a scenario where he doesn't have enough power to pull on two. So now he has to get within three. So yeah, so he isn't close enough to... He could have been close enough to Steve, I think. Because, like, if we look at where Steve is... It was the same thing. Well, but Thanos was a little bit on this side of the center of the board. Yeah, but he could have placed within one of Proxima on oh, the other side. Oh, I see. Side. Yeah, fair. Fair. And then... All right. It would have been within two. And, because... Uh, Steve doesn't count uh, blanks, and Proxima does. So this is a huge difference here. Yeah. Like not, three not, dice not counting Proxima. blanks. You're or talking three about dice. Uh, Widow. Widow counts blanks. Not Widow. Counts. Widow counts blanks. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.
Widow counts blanks and so one attack into Here Widow. Here comes the one roll. She saves one. And Thanos does three. So two go through. And does daze uh, her. Yeah. <laughs> does daze her. And gives, gives but she only three. has two dice. Oh yeah, that's weird. She should have three. I I don't see. Oh, was it energy? It was an energy attack, maybe. No, but he rolled six dice. He didn't have any power. He gained power from this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, she has an incinerate on her. Thank uh, you, chat. Thank you, chat. Yes, Yay. of course. Great. And now he picks up this one. And he uses his hecking laser because we've been here for <laughs> two hours waiting for this laser to happen. Come on. Come on. I don't think so. Maybe. Come on. <laughs> oh, he is doing it. He is doing it. <laughs> he is doing it. Screw you, Proxima. <laughs> Eat the space laser from space. <laughs> All right, last attack of the game, I Finally. suppose. <laughs> oh, I feel like he could have used this one so much earlier, but yeah. Finally, um, we get her down. And so what is that? Uh, four, two hits? Did he roll? Yeah. Two hits. It's... Not enough, no matter what she rolls defensively. Yeah, uh, uh, crappy Helios per use. <laughs> yeah, she rolled nothing, as a matter of fact, <laughs> but she survives. Okay. But yeah. So that's like 17. No, 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 I beg your pardon. It's um, one, two, three. Yeah, 17. 17 to. To 11, 12, 13, 14. 17 to 14. Yeah. Good game. Thanks, everybody, for yep. uh, watching. And again, thank you, Torborn, as well. I wish I could stay on for the chat, but I am under, under time pressure today, unusually so. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's not too disappointing to everybody. And um, I just want to say dice don't matter. If you think dice matter, then you are wrong. There. <laughs> that's my ending words. All right, cool. Torborn, uh, take care. I hope we speak soon. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching and look for more streams from either me or Lucas uh, in the TTS season 12 elimination rounds. We have five rounds to go. This was week one. Week two starts uh, on Monday. So hopefully see you there soon. Take care and bye-bye.